Hi everyone, welcome back to Words 4. My name is Sasha, and today we're going to be reading Busy Busy Moose. Written by Nancy Van Lan and illustrated by Amy Rush. A great thank you to Houghton Mifflin Books for publishing this amazing story. Now before we begin, I'd like to draw your attention to this page right here. Contents. As you can see, it's showing five stories. There's fall, winter, spring, summer, and fall again. We're going to be reading the story about fall today. And then, if you like that, you can grab this book and read the rest of them too. Now, let me start by asking a question. Do you know anything about fall? That's right. Fall is when summer is starting to end and the leaves turn brown and red, and they start to fall, and then the animals are getting ready for the new season, and so on and so forth. So why don't we read on and see what the moose does in fall. There was a chill in the air. Moose could see his breath. He looked up. The leaves were gold and red and brown. It must be fall, said Moose. I will go tell Beaver. Hello, Beaver, said Moose. Do you know what season it is? Yes, said Beaver. It's fall. How did you guess, asked Moose. I can see my breath, said Beaver. The leaves are gold and red and brown. Oh, said Moose. We both saw the same things. And, said Beaver, this is the busiest time of the year. Why, asked Moose. I have to make my winter house, said Beaver. Moose went to see Squirrel. Hello, Squirrel, said Moose. Do you know what season it is? It's fall, said Squirrel. I can see my breath. Me too, said Moose. This is my busiest time of the year, said Squirrel. I have to hide acorns. Moose went to see Rabbit. Rabbit also knew it was fall. He was busy too. He was busy gathering bark and twigs. Moose did not need a house. He did not need to gather acorns or barks and twigs. He did not need to gather anything at all. Moose had nothing busy to do. So, if you were in Moose's position, how would you feel? Well, I know I'd feel pretty left out because all my friends were busy doing things and I felt like I wasn't doing anything. So what do you think Moose is going to do? Why don't we read on and find out? He walked into the middle of a great wide field. There he stood for a long time, all alone. A flock of birds flew by. They were on their way south for the winter. Do you know why birds go south for the winter? That's right, it's called migration. Whenever it becomes winter time and it's too cold, the birds will change their homes and they'll fly south or they'll fly somewhere else where they have a better weather. One tiny bird landed on Moose's antler, then another, and another. Soon, Moose's antlers were full of birds. He did not know they were there. Actually, soon, Moose's antlers were full of birds. He didn't know they were there. Rabbit hopped by. You look very busy, he said. Busy, said Moose. Busy doing what? Busy being a tree, said Rabbit. Your antlers are full of birds. Moose looked surprised. You're a perfect resting stop, said Rabbit, and he hopped off. Oh, thought Moose. I must stand very still. This will be my job. Each day, Moose stood in the field. Each day, a new flock of birds flew by. Each day, his antlers were full of birds. Now fall was the busiest time of the year for moose, too. The end. How do you think moose changed throughout the story? I agree. Moose went from being not busy at all and quite sad that he wasn't busy 
to being super busy. Now, how did Moose become super busy? Do you remember? That's perfect. It's because Moose started helping the birds. And he felt good that he was helping others, and he felt good that he was keeping himself busy. I hope you enjoyed that story just as much as I did. Please feel free to check out this book from your library and read the rest of the stories about the other seasons. Once again, my name is Sasha. Have a great day.